Self-Destruct. When this ability is used in a strategic way, it is the most powerful ability in Final Fantasy VII Remake, in, in my opinion. Not only will you be able to do massive damage to a group of enemies that are near the self-destruct, but you'll also be able to survive the attack and regain yourself back to full HP in the process, while also filling up your limit break to the max. So if that doesn't sound overpowered to you, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so here is my setup for self-destruct. Now for one, this isn't very important, but I have fire MP absorption since I'll be casting a fire spell in this episode. Although I think I might have switched Delta Blizzard, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm using a magic spell with MP absorption. That's not the most important thing. The important thing is to have high magic power and a weapon that has reprieve. So let me finish my materia setup here. As you can see, I have the magic up materia on. ATB stagger. First strike. HP absorption linked up with enemy skill. This is very important to gain the HP back from self-destruct when you survive the attack. Now this is the next important materia. Warding materia linked up with subversion. This will make you immune to death, which means that when you self-destruct, you're supposed to instantly die, but because you have subversion linked up with warding materia, you will survive the attack, but you will survive with one HP. And you know why you're going to survive with one HP? It's because you need a weapon ability that has a reprieve skill. If you don't have reprieve on, then you will die regardless. So here's an example of the Iron Sword that I have. The reason why I'm showcasing the Iron Sword is because it has Reprieve and high magic attack power, which makes this a very good weapon to use for self-destruct. And let me show you the Reprieve ability it has. Avoid incapacitation once per battle. Does not work against instant death or when HP is at 1. So because we have Subversion linked up with Warding, that's going to prevent instant death. So that means this will work with it, as long as that material is linked up. Okay, so please note that this is just a test battle here. So I'm wait right now I'm waiting for a fat chocobo to summon a creature so I can get more limit break. Now if I were to use self-destruct right now, then I, my limit break would go up, but it wouldn't be a max. It'd be very close to max. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for him to summon the monster so that way I can self-destruct the fat chocobo and the monster and gain even more limit break power. This will instantly fill my limit break age, as you've seen right there. So now I'm gonna use Ascension, and as you've seen, I survived the self-destruct and I healed myself to full HP, and I'm able to use a limit break. So this makes self-destruct the most powerful ability in the game, as you will now be able to rush bosses extremely quick using this method. There's also another item in the game that automatically gets you your limit break up at the start of battle. So if you combine that item of one character with this self-destruct method here, then you can get two limit breaks up very early in battle and pretty much destroy the bosses of this game. Unless Square Enix comes out with a patch to reduce how powerful this self-destruct method is with the reprieve ability, then the methods for cheesing bosses are starting to come out there. I personally think Square Enix should patch it because it seems too powerful. But yeah, here's the most powerful ability in the game and feel free to abuse the method. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.